going to court Tuesday, uh, I had uh, I had a bunch of bad checks, and I was on drugs in the 80s, late 80s, and um, I, for some reason, some of them got slipped under the rug, and they popped back up. I put down a fifteen hundred dollar uh, bond down on them a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I go to court Tuesday, and I want to know what to expect. Am are they gonna hold me, or are they gonna? Uh, am I gonna get some of that money back? Uh, will they compile all that? There's there's like six cases. Uh, can they compile it all into one case and charge me one um, court cost and kind of refund some of that money back since it's been so long? I, I've done been to prison over the drug issue, and uh, I haven't done nothing since I've gotten out of prison. I've, uh, okay, Diana, let me let me put you on pause for just a minute and let Martin sort of weigh in on some some of your situations. See if you can kind of maybe yeah, you in the um, right direction. I, I, you know, I don't know all the facts, and um, mm -hmm. you know, I think if uh, you know, generally with bad checks, I mean, you're not going to be looking at uh, a bunch of jail time. I mean, they just want to work something out where um, you know you can pay those things back, or mm -hmm. you'll be put on probation. Um, you know, especially if they're older stuff that happened back then. A lot of times, stuff will get lost or that sort of thing, and um, they can come back and, um, you know, prosecute you for it, or, mm -hmm. or, or there may have been warrants for years, and she just didn't know. And sure. well, if Diana has multiple bad checks, right. like she was talking about, will they consolidate those, or are those separate offenses? Yeah, I mean, generally they'd be separate offenses because she may have, you know, written one to Walmart, one to Target, okay. one to a gas station. So, um, you know, there's di there may be different victims in those cases. They couldn't just combine them. And that now, um, if they're working out some kind of deal, they may say, hey. Uh, you know, sometimes plead a, to one and we'll dismiss the other ones or, you know, something like that. But, um, Does you know, she need an attorney? Yeah, I, I would recommend that, um, you know, she get an attorney if she can't afford one that um, they would appoint one for. If you're facing jail time, they'll, they'll appoint and you can't afford one, they'll, the court will appoint one for you. Okay. All right. We hope that helps. We're going to take a